met Tony during the most difficult time in my life. Uh, I was in the process of a divorce and I was also helping to take care of my mom who had been diagnosed with advanced Alzheimer's. I had lost my wife to pancreatic cancer, a wife of 34 years, and um, that summer I was just uh, lounging around in the backyard. My next door neighbors um, asked me if I just wanted to come over to have a drink. Irene was there and they, we briefly met. He spent just a few minutes. Um, he was very sad, you could tell. Uh, his wife had just passed away. And I didn't see Tony again for about two months. I saw Irene outside um, walking into the, the, um, the house and uh, we said hello and I asked her how she was doing. I was going to the gym. Well, the floodgates burst open. I burst into tears crying about the divorce and that my mom was dying and he looked at me and... And I didn't know quite what to do so I said it looks like you need a hug. So I gave her a hug. And for the first time in months, I felt something other than despair. It just felt so good to have someone put their arms around me. Later in the week, I found a note in my mailbox inviting me over. And I went, she cooked a great meal. I went with two bottles of wine, not knowing if she liked red or white. Um, he looked petrified. I thought to myself, oh my, this is gonna be a very long evening. But it turned out to be a wonderful evening. One of the funny things we thought about after the fact was, uh, you're not supposed to meet people at a, you know, their house the first time around. Neither of us had an exit strategy. Um, but as it turned out, we didn't need one. Irene and I would both every once in a while say, what are we, 15? I thought the proposal would come on a sailboat, which just never seemed to work that spring. So I was looking for plan B, but we went out to, um, on her golf course, and she's a member of a country club. And we got out on the golf course, and immediately he kept asking me, what's your favorite golf hole? And I thought, I don't know, you know. They're all beautiful holes. And Finally, on the 13th hole, which was very um, interesting in itself, um, she said, I, I really like this hole, I think, because it's got a panoramic view of the, the golf course and it's high and looks really well. So it took me seven shots to get to the green and she does it in three. I was lining up a putt. I turned around and Tony was on one knee with the ring box in hand. She thought I fainted or was having a heart attack. And said, I love you, will you marry me? Of course I said yes. You know, the fact that she loves my kids, and I love her kids, and her family, um, means an, an awful lot to both of us. Tony last year gave me a Christmas card that read, you and I found love when we least expected it. And I just believe truer words have never been written or spoken. Neither one of us were expecting to find what we found, and we found a wonderful love. We're very happy. Mm -hmm.